So here we are the day before we picked the thing up. They told us it was about ready. That's not our combine. That's a combine in at the deer dealer. They're just getting the thing set up. It's pretty much ready to go. It just needs the stock stompers installed on it. So we're just giving it a quick look over and had a little chat with the salesman and it should be good to go pretty soon. Okay, here we are at Greenmark, picking up our brand new 12 row corn head, 712 FC, F for folding. That is the major upgrade over the old one. So you can see you got the big cylinder on top on each side and that's where it breaks and folds. So this will fold up going down the road. Side six to fold out and six in the middle. Yeah, and we'll be actually we'll be a little narrower than the tires on the combine going down the road. The tires will be the wide part of the combine now. We used to go up and down the road with our uh, eight row head. But now it's mm -mm. just six row. Yeah, and so this will be a little narrow. Of course, it'll be taller because it'll be folded on top of itself. The front end, the gathering chains which we may replace and actually our old head is right here you can see there's a pallet of gathering chains here yeah those are ones we took off because we've been running these 360 yield saver chains for four seasons sounds like corn in there And that's no, they won't fit the new one. So those are pretty war there. So we may get another set between now and harvest. We'll have to see what else is different. See our old head, one stock stomper, two stock stompers. Those are basically just to protect the rear tires of the combine from stubble damage. Yep. And our new one is going to be like this other 612. Old one was a 612. So we decided to go stock stompers all the way around. I got three in the bed of the truck because it doesn't really go on the trailer with those three. So you're missing two there, one there. But the idea of the folding is we're not going to really use the trailer anymore. So you're yeah. going to have stock stompers all the way down? Yeah, every row will have a stock stomper. Yeah, so our fields are going to look a little different after we harvest them because everything is going to be pushed over. So no more stomping on stocks ourselves. Right, maybe we won't trip as much. And save some tires. Especially planter tires when we're planting beans no-till the next year. Uh, some other stuff is different. You know, we had problems with the gearboxes on the old one. I can tell you that drive shaft is a lot beefier than the other one. We went with the intermeshing snap rolls this time. Before these flutes, they would be straight across from each other when they pinch the stalk. Now they are staggered. So we, hopefully that will lead to less stress on the gearboxes. At least that's what deer tells us anyway. You can see there's the front side of the stompers. So there's the new corn head. Just gonna put it away for now. I'm not gonna mess with getting the combine out and all that stuff. Okay, since we're not getting the real combine out, we have the toy combine here out in front of these Scott Farms machinery sheds. And now Matthew shall demonstrate what our new corn head is capable of. Okay, show them. Folding. <laughs> raised up for transport. Yes, now unfold for field duty. <laughs> Perfect. So now, now you have a feel of exactly how it will work on the real thing. <laughs> well, let's see. See, it's a, it's a 612C. And here's our old one. It's a 612C. So we're into the 700 series now. Yeah. And the F stands for folding, right? 
unfolding, and I assume that I think the C is just for corn. I think. Corn, corn. And what's the 12 for? 12, 12. Yep. And 7 is the 7 series. Yeah, or 700 series, whatever you want to call it. I have to add the 7 on there to bring the price up. <laughs> so for now, we're just going to store this thing in the barn at my house. It's a little wet, but not too squishy, so I wanted to get kind of running start. So I went ahead and opened up the barn doors. So this is the old barn that's next to my house. Kind of a funny thing about how much larger equipment has gotten since this barn was built to uh, house a little bit of equipment and service several different kinds of livestock. This corn head's 30 foot plus the tongue of the trailer. It goes in here fine. Now our bean head, our draper, is 40 foot long. So of course the trailer's a little longer. It won't go in here. It is longer than the barn is. trailer yeah like that okay. and take the light cord out cool. lift the flap up there Can you pull it out? yep it's kind of tough there you go you're good yeah so we're just putting it back in the barn here at my house our house fits in here there's the house, swing around. There's the old barn. Oh, you left a rocket out here. So we'll leave it in here. Now nah, we won't mess with getting the combine out and folding it. Maybe I'll get you that in another video. Maybe I have to wait till, till fall or maybe this summer when we do wheat, we'll screw with it dealer kind of warned me you gotta watch the uh, left turns this maybe that stomper needs to come off too when it's on the trailer no problem bringing it here that's for your baseball net right there we didn't see anybody at john deere because this is march 27th march 27th 2020 so we're all still doing our social distancing for coronavirus so they kind of set parts and stuff outside. They're trying to limit the people that are coming in. So Cornhead was loaded up, ready to go. We just snatched it and, and left. Uh, I did call and talk to the salesman. We are uh, going to get a price on a land plane, maybe uh, take care of our driveways a little better, a little more easily. But anyway, Cornhead is away going to sit here for now uh, until we need it or uh, get it out later and mess with it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.